One security expert is commending the TTPS's decision to implement stricter regulations for air rifle use, saying the lapse in regulations create a dangerous opportunity for non-certified people. Paul Daniel Nahus spoke with reporter Janine Brown on the issue. Well, what is currently going on, which I believe the Commission is trying to um, control now, is a lot of groups of people with no prior training um, and no prior experience opening and running ranges of their own for air rifles and having, you know, clubs and club shoots and different things without having people there who are trained as range officers, who are trained as um, instructors in shooting uh, and so on. So what you got is a lot of people making up things as they went along. Or it's why security expert Paul Daniel now says he is in support of stricter policies to govern the use of air rifles. He also advises citizens to be cautious about where they choose to go for training. But when people are offering, let me this way, when someone is offering to train you to shoot a rifle for $300, um, you have to kind of wonder the quality of the person you're going by. On the other hand, Mr. Nahus agrees on the ban on crossbows, saying there's been a marked increase in illegal crossbows in the country. Having been trained in crossbow hunting in the U.S., he says one should not underestimate just how deadly the weapon is. A crossbow could kill a man from 6 to some of them to 100 yards, and it can't do it silently. So it is a big danger. Uh, people have been upset over it, saying that who in China has been killed with a crossbow and so on. Um, but, you know, in this country, we like to say, well, some, we say, okay, who has been killed by this? But if it happens now, what are they going to say? Why wasn't something done preemptively? So it's more control. According to the TTPS, the ban on crossbows is with immediate effect. Janine Brown, TTT News.